Hello guys, this time it's gonna be a video of, uh, replying to a comment and this is gonna focus on around the level 100 in Seaport when everything just opens up you can almost upgrade everything but you never have enough resource to upgrade all of them now to answer the first question by Les is should I ever send ships to neighborhood because my productions are always running all your fish down and you have never enough fish now I looked into that a bit I'm gonna show you my messy excel sheets because <laughs> it's it's only made for myself and it's really hard to understand which looks something along the lines of this and the yellow boxes is what matters it tells me what uh, when I send a ship there per cargo wise so a ship can carry 30 cargo but per cargo wise how much resource I'm getting of that type per minute and looking at these few boxes it comes down to if I send a ship to bamboo versus sending a ship to neighborhood I get 2.5 wood per fish but if you look at the <laughs> if you look at this other sheet I make that I'll link later on in the YouTube com uh, comment so you can play around with it it's that if you can get one wood per fish versus collecting that fish and then bring it back it's better off to send that ship to the wood port because you get twice as much almost twice as much uh, wood than trying to collect the fish and then converting it to wood so in this case if you collect a hundred wood from neighborhood then you decide to bring it back and have your sawmill to convert it which at my rate of sawmill it's 1.1 you'll get you'll turn 100 fish to 110 wood but if you went ahead and just collected wood instead assuming crew is not a problem in this is calculating time wise then you'll get two and a half wood versus 1.1 or in other in my example 100 110 wood versus 250 wood and if you look at this sawmill oh I didn't I didn't rename this <laughs> uh, this, is, this is for that is iron you understand for these two uh, wood and iron it's better to just collect the resource directly than trying to collect the fish and then change it into the resource afterwards. It's very inefficient and it's a two-part process. And not to say when you send a ship to a four-hour, uh, let's see, if you send a ship to four-hour one, four-hour port, what happens is you're paying uh, you're paying crew in some way because you're gonna have crew just max and just sit there you're not using those crew ideally if possible you want to send crew that send ships that use all the crew my bad so then the crew are never gonna be sitting there in your port and not doing anything because those are resources that it's a regenerative resource you want to use it as quick as possible and I like to send it my my ships to wood so then it drains a lot of them then I send it to um, uh, which one is it to Gulf so then it can regen over time and not too long because four hours is it's when the ships come back the, the crew's been sitting there for like two hours on and not doing anything so generally those are bad ideas to send it to fish and not only that it's because 
there's better methods of making other resource iron and <laughs> wood than sending it to fish and then converting them. It's just tedious and doesn't give you a leg up. It's like this is like twice as much on both sides. And looking at the quarry, you'll think, oh, the quarry is better because um, if you send it out and so if you send a ship out and then collect the fish back, then turning into stone is better than I'll say like twice as twice as much than saying sending it to uh what's the name of it? Rubble, which is the one on here. It's also four hours. The problem is that this is such a bad bonus ratio. It's so bad that you see me continuously making stone here because sending ships out to collect stone with your ships is such a terrible idea. And the quarry also makes pretty decent uh, production versus the consumption of quarry. Like, when do you use quarry? Is when you upgrade uh, the foundry, when you upgrade your uh, boats half the time because half the time you use iron half the time it uses come on oh they're both iron never mind half the time it uses <laughs> stone so stone is not really used that often so there's no real need to say oh let's collect more stone because if you just keep making stone over time and you don't have to make it a lot of time you'll see that your production of stone will, um, will overproduce the amounts of uh, stone you'll need so it's not a big deal so just always make sure you have enough stone just float like maybe if you're level 100 I'll say float like 100 K of stone just enough for your next upgrade so you don't have to rush to make stone ideally you want resource that has enough to maybe one or two upgrades then you can say oh I can I can kind of stop making that production and focus on other production that's the idea right because running out of um, resource is the thing you want to mitigate so making sure you have enough resource for the next upgrade then you can start making it again that's a that's that's my take on it so here if i want to upgrade my fish dock oh i need more i need more gold i need more wood and iron see like i have I have a, almost 200k of iron, 200,000 of iron, and only 53, but I want to upgrade other things like boats, and that takes another 24,000, so I can have like two boats upgrade, and a fish upgrade, and then that's all my iron. And iron's hard to come by, that's why I want to make it. It's very slow to produce, where quarry is very easy to make, versus the the, pro, the consumption requirements and upgrades. Wood is needed a lot, so, so that's why they gave us another uh, sawmill, but just running one sawmill just eats a lot of uh, your fish production. If I look at here, if, you run, if I run just my best sawmill, the one you see out here on the front, it would take 238 fish per minute. And my fish stock makes roughly around 400 fish per minute. So yeah, that's enough. But if I add any of these other, if I'll make some iron and some, and some wood, that's, uh, that's almost the maximum of my fish stock. But if you look at the reason why I can have just enough to make run two of these mills, is because I've upgraded intensively on fish. Now that brings us to the point of uh, upgrading which facility. So I make this Excel sheet, which will be in this uh, comment, tells us if you put in all the numbers here in the blue section, it'll calculate uh, how much gain do you have when you upgrade that facility. So as you can see, if I upgrade my fish, select this one and press upgrade, I'll get another 120 fish. And versus just right now, it's 
these numbers. Now you have to take these numbers and put it into this Excel. So 3, 3, 3 40, 40, which will, will coincide with 3 to 40, 40, with uh, 120, 40, because sometimes the fish number, the fish duration do change. And you have to put in this and this. And I calculate how much more percentile gain you get from it. Now I did it for all the resource. So if you look at this, if I upgrade my fish stock to the next level with all these costs, which is not in here, this you have to make sense of, <clears throat> is it expensive or not? Then I get three, almost 4% increase. But if I upgrade my sawmill, which again, you have to paste these numbers, well copy and paste these numbers into the, these fields, so 22 minutes, 800 increase on wood production and 600 increase on fish production. And these are just the standard current value. 500, I mean 5,000, 55,000, and 21 minutes. So 55,000, 5,000, 21 minutes. Then you see, oh, if I upgrade it, I get 2% increase. Now these are not exactly one to one because you have to look at the resource cost to upgrade this. This is only fish and uh, stone versus gold and wood and, and stone. But my take is if you upgrade fish, everything benefits. Everything of you, what you choose benefits. You always, it will be better to always have more fish than you can make because fish is just such very, very useful. Because I think once you start running all these uh, facilities, you realize fish is the bottleneck. So at the same time, when you upgrade it, fish gives you the most uh, percentage increase. And at the same time, when you upgrade fish, it doesn't, the fish dock, uh, it doesn't stop your production. Where if you upgrade wood, the sawmill, that sawmill can't be used for a day here, or like one day in seven hours, or almost one and a half day. It's these are limiting. It's almost oh, it's almost better to just upgrade the fish dock until you can say, oh, okay, make a iron or quarry or iron and sawmill uh, without my fish just keep going down. Because you want at least two resources you can continuously run. Why? Because you want to send your ships when you're upgrading heavily. Even that is not enough. Running two of these, two of the three production facilities is not enough. You need to collect more. And because rubble is such a bad idea to send ship to, you want to send ships to bamboo or blacksmith. Preferably bamboo first to run your crew lower. Then you can send your blacksmith to to get the iron depending on which one because then you want to continuously pro to pro produce stone my bad then depending on what you need you send your ships to bamboo or iron but I prefer to make a uh, send ships to bamboo to drain a bit of the crew because you're when you send ships to bamboo you're really trading crew for wood which crew is a regenerating resource and I guess I'll show you in my Excel. If you send these green uh, cells indicate where you send your ships to would deplete your crew over time. Like you'll be running out of crew. So the blacksmith, is, did I do this right? Yeah, the blacksmith. So the blacksmith is gonna run out of your crew uh, the bamboo is going to run out of your crew, the coastline is going to, well, my crew. The coastline is going to run out of my crew and small town is going to run out of my crew. This is similar throughout the, uh, at the lower levels too. Because I've had this for a while and this haven't changed. All these, all these places drains a lot of crew. But you're turning crew into resource, which is great. Because once it goes up to maximum, it's just sitting there. 
So I'll send them to Boyd and then I'll send some to Blacksmith and Golf. But these are my main three docks to make money. And you get to level them up. Blacksmith in the beginning is terrible. I think it's like times three or times six, but it's more about investing that this into this port. Later on, you would get a much higher percentage, which this is pretty decent percentage. It's pretty quick to level. Um, okay. And see, to cover like houses, I can upgrade this a long time ago, but why haven't I upgraded? Because increasing crew doesn't really increase my production. Increasing the fish port increases my production. Like unless I drain the crew all the time, unless I'm running out of crew, then I want to maybe look into houses. But houses doesn't help you 24-7 where if you have, uh, if you upgrade ships, wherever you send it, so if you send it to eight hour ones, then three times a day, you can technically benefit from better ships, but you can't benefit from better ships if this is just sitting there and you never use it. That's why if you can see, my house is level 17 and 18. They haven't been upgraded. They've been very rarely upgraded because of that. It's only upgraded when I feel these are very expensive, that I'm running out of crew too often, then yes, I'll upgrade it. But usually it's like the last res last thing to upgrade. Oh, Same for a warehouse. You don't really need to upgrade it until you need it uh, for events. <laughs> Before there's no real reason, just, just make sure you use the resource and you're good. Uh, but that's exactly why I keep some of my resource here. If there's an event and I need if I need to buy this ship, the Shoeberry, then I can just put money and resource into it without worrying, oh no, now I need to scramble to get the resource. There's a reason why keeping the resource is a good idea, especially when patches comes out with events, mainly events. Because if I want to upgrade my quarry, but then now I need, I have a surplus of iron. I can upgrade other things. I can still upgrade my ships. I don't need to wait for my ships to upgrade. Ideally, you'll know exactly what to upgrade and you don't, and you just, you don't need to float all these resources. But if you don't, it's probably better to float some resource. Like, you know, I can focus my, to upgrade on these two, well, or to produce these two. Don't worry about it. My quarry. Now enough rambling on, on the production. I hope uh, that was enough of a plan <laughs> to tell you what, what should I make and what shouldn't I make. Is that never send send uh, fish to neighborhood unless you want to just level it for fun, for achievement. Oh, achievement. Once you get to a certain point, achievement just gets useless. The, the rewards is just such a sidetrack maybe the event because it's time limited but if you if you don't care about this eventually you'll get them eventually you'll get them it's more important to upgrade on better ships because better ships gives you everything better and it just give you more rewards so i kind of abandoned getting achievements because they just give me they just give me all the like if you if you have a strong fleet and strong resource gaining, these will just come by. You can you can then spend the excess uh, resource on, like hey, let's upgrade some of these. <laughs> let's upgrade some of these useless Hey, Look, it's two point five gold, one point five. Oh, like it doesn't even matter if I just want the achievements of upgrading. It doesn't matter if I upgrade these. They're they're nothing. They're nothing. So that's the plan. Like I don't want to upgrade something because it's an achievement, but rather uh, upgrade it when it's you have just so much resource that you don't care. Then it's a good time to upgrade because before then you're hurting your 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 long term uh, goal. So I guess I'll go over some of these boats. If you look at this, two more cargo spot. So if I divide this by two. I get like roughly 250,000 gold per cargo slot and like the wood is relatively cheap the iron is more expensive like 12,000 per cargo 
But if I click on this ship that I have, I want to upgrade this, I get holy moly, I get five more cargo slots. So that's like divided by five, 5,000 iron per slot and like a 120,000 or 130,000 uh, gold per per cargo, which is a way better deal than the 12,000. It's like half, half as much iron to upgrade uh, per cargo slot, but 25,000 and oh, no, my bad, 25,000 and 24,000. So that's why there's a benefit of making sure you have enough iron to upgrade because sometimes the more expensive upgrade is much more cost efficient, at least for now. Ships tend to give you more cargo slots as you upgrade to the max. But in the short term, I want to upgrade this ship right now. And then once this, because this is the last uh, upgrade, that's why it gives you a lot. But once I upgrade this, oh, there goes my gold. I I'm totally broke. <laughs> that's why you need, you need gold a lot. And then let's say, oh, okay, time to send more, get more gold. And the next one, uh, probably I'll start to upgrade this one because all my other upgrades are out. And oh, I just happen to have enough upgrades. There, more, more gems. So I guess going back to problems, don't upgrade everything. Make sure you don't upgrade houses a lot. Um, you can see my Excel sheet here. My my facilities level is heavily tilted toward fish because of the percentage. Like, and fish is, it's always better to have more fish than worry about not having more wood. Because you're sending fish to, you want to send fish, Les, to neighborhood to make up for the fact you don't have enough fish. But the problem is, you don't want to, you, you want to leave that to the fish dock. So, and it has the best upgrades of all. I've, I heavily upgrade this over other ones. Maybe wood. Um, but if you put in the numbers here, you'll see which one has the best upgrades. I think like 5% increase is a worthwhile upgrade. Um, upgrade the highest one on the resource that you need. It's like if, if you have a ton of quarry and you never run out of quarry and it's 5%, 7%, sure it's a good upgrade, but maybe not now. Maybe you, want, you still want fish because they translate to whatever resource you want. Uh, and I guess you can aim for these kind of levels over at least this kind of distribution on levels and you see like if I can send all my ships to iron dock why why upgrade my iron that much I can just focus on sawmill or quarry and have excess fish for upgrades because you do remember upgrading wood do require a lot of quite a bit of fish and it's always a risk of upgrading and have no fish. Then you're like, oh, now I can't make wood. I have a <laughs> just newly upgraded sawmill and I can't make anything out of it. That's why there's a reason to always float these. Because if I want to upgrade this, then it's like, oh, there's always enough fish or wood or whatever. Um, I think I cover most of the things that uh, I talked about in your comment. You talked about if I should send it to shipwrecks or other things I look on my ship roster and I have a specific ship the ones that can just have the enough crew to send to those locations so like a hundred crew for me so Celtic Cross, Ming, Blanco obviously it heavily depends on what ships you have and how much upgrade you have but I want to send these ships to to uh no not trading port but the shipwrecks both of the shipwrecks the, both of the shipwrecks are great they give you good xp they give you decent gold they get they don't they only take one ship to do they're they cost almost nothing for really good uh, payback same thing for trading port just make sure to do your trading port it's all it's really really good if you're running out of crew in trading port then upgrade on your on your on your house but uh, don't worry about houses before these facilities. Always worry about these facilities first. Uh, ships are good. Gives you like roughly 3% more. And if you look at these numbers, like, yeah. If it's over 3%, yeah, upgrade them. They're, they're good. If you're good. You're going to use them. You're going to use them now or later. But make sure you have enough resource. And the best way to have resource is having enough fish. So, uh, I think I covered everything in your question. 
uh, this link, this Excel will be in the comments. Uh, this is too messy to be to be attached in the Excel that I'm gonna be in the comments. Uh, I'll think about putting these on there because this is quite useful. That's that's why I really uh, it really helped me coming up with where to send send my ships. But if you don't want to read this Excel, this crazy Excel then I can tell you which is a better trade-off and which neighborhood and rubble is sadly the only four hour destination but they're terrible terrible locations to go to like they they pay the they have the worst payout like and which is sad because sometimes you just only want to send your ships to four hour ones but in my own uh, messy excel which you don't get this because it's really messy I put in the uh, the maximum crew and the total total limit and the total profit of these sailors, and it turns out uh, it it tells me I need I need like almost two hours to fully regenerate all my crew. So if you fully depleted your crew and you wait almost two hours, then when your ships comes back from two hour trips, it'll be they'll be fresh and ready to send out again. That's why it's so important. Uh, it's like a benchmark of saying when you and this is true it's roughly around two hours when you send to a destination that's over two hours when the ship comes back assuming that let's say if you send your whole fleet there at the same location two hours when it comes back all the crews has been regenerated where if you send to a place that's less than an hour or an hour it's an hour or less than an hour they use a lot of crew like these 10 minutes they drain a lot of crew if you send it to small town they drain even more crew they drain so much crew you'll be you'll be you'll be have you have ships in your dock and you can't send those ships anywhere because crews dry it's totally gone um, so that two hour mark is very important I guess in some way the game designed it to kind of want you to log in every two hours. The fish kind of wants you to log in every 40 minutes. Like this is 40 minutes. Sometimes it's just uh, open this open seaport. Let's click on the fish and click on these and go. And that's a cheap, cheap way to get a lot of fish. Cause I get, I get like 5,000, no 3,000. And then if I have five of them, it's like 15,000 fish just coming in, just clicking and just closing it. Don't even care about the rest. 15,000 fish, then sending <laughs> 10 ships to here. Then you get like 17,000 or five ships. It's just not worth it. Uh, I think I covered all the questions and I hope I answered a lot of the, the fuzzy decision making when it comes to how to manage your seaport. And it's almost half an hour. I think I've been almost rambling. Uh, yeah, see bamboo, blacksmith, golf. And make sure you do your daily every day. I always do that every day. Make sure you do all these, and you'll be you'll be just rich. Gold, golf, wood, the bamboo. Uh, I guess one thing is don't send all your all your <laughs> ships to bamboo until it's done. My Excel here tells me uh, to send. If I want to send all my ships to golf which is the one on the one hour one on top 55 crew that long it'll take uh, where, where is that where's that number it's so messy I can't even read it uh, it takes like one point just below 1400 crew to send all my ships to Gulf oh, my whole fleet to Gulf so I drain all my crew from 2700 to like 14,000 and then I send all these ships to Gulf and then I was like done for another hour I know I know all my ships are making money and my crew's crew is regenerating which is best because I guess I'll go into crew regeneration later when I sort out my excel sheet because that's how you get a lot of the wood you if you <laughs> crew equals wood crew equals wood so if you want a lot of wood you can upgrade the houses but it's a lot of clicks. You need to send a ship six times an hour, basically. I well, not really. You run off crew before then. 
but uh, crew equals to wood and ships um, and fish equals to stone and uh, iron and sometimes wood because then if you send your ships to wood and making wood you you make so much wood you make so much wood oh boy uh, and that's without using the secondary sawmill because of optimization uh, it's been 30 minutes now uh, I think I talked about almost everything at these high levels uh, if you still have questions ask I'll make another one and by then I hope you'll know how to you, you'll just feel the resources keep pouring in like this and then the only limiting factor is like oh, I need more I need more gold which you can send us overnight to Riveria and Gulf whenever you can and if you can't you can do the missions for two hours so one hour ten minutes eight hours and two hours I guess it's a shame they don't let you choose four hour ones they're so bad it's not worth sending to or these events if you if you fancy doing them which is also a resource sink a ship sink really okay uh, that's it I'll see you next time questions if you like all my rambling for half an hour, like it. If you don't like it, dislike it. Or if you think it's too long, I'll say it's too long. <laughs> I'll make more videos if you make questions like this. Um, see ya.